Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamerguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to show you how to create a light bulb with a warm light using blurred shapes and overlay layer modes to mix the color of the light with the background below. Starting with a basic shape of a light bulb in order to turn it on, another layer inside that is lighter and blurred gives it a little bit more of a glow and a second layer inside that is a circle with a blur gives it an extra light. A circle with a blur will make the light behind it. If I make it too bright, the light is lighter than the glow. That can't work. The light bulb is emitting the light. It always has to be the lightest, but I can add different colors. The whole thing does not quite look soft because all the colors are set to blend mode normal. If I change that to overlay, we don't see much on a gray background. It is softer. The colors mix with the glow behind it. And once I turn the background on from a gray to a color, in this case, a warm brown, all the colors will start to pop and we have a nice yellowish glow. And it becomes even more apparent once I put a pattern behind it. You can see how the different shades of the pattern get a different highlight now with the glow mixing due to the blank mode overlay. Using various layers gives me more flexibility as far as the range of colors and the smoothness of the glow goes. I can have different sizes with different Gaussian blurs and different colors. I can even use color gradients to make it really fancy. In this case, I'll stick with just three glow shapes and can then go and make it as bright or as light as it's required for the illustration. I will also create a quick variation of the light bulb with less glow and more of the inside of the light bulb visible and as a result less glow behind it. Let's get started. I already have the base in place. It's a couple of rounded rectangles stacked together with narrower strips for the highlights and an ellipse at the base. The light bulb itself is a circle. I hold down the control or command key to keep the constraints. I convert it to curves to make the notes editable and go in with the note tool and add two more nodes on either side and another two more at the width of the base. That way I can pull those two down and have a rough shape of the light bulb. Now I just need to angle the bottom bits to match and go straight up and we have a basic light bulb. I place the light bulb behind the base and create a duplicate for the glow inside the light bulb. For that one, I duplicate the shape itself and give it a slightly lighter color and a Gaussian blur. You don't want to make that blur too big so it fades outside the shape. Try and keep it within the shape of the light bulb itself. One way to restrict the glow would be by placing the shape inside the base of the light bulb and add another lighter glow inside. This time I take a complete white and a rather wide Gaussian blur. The only problem with this approach is a change in the layer mode will affect the clip objects as well as the clipping mask. I take the two objects outside the clipping mask and place them on top. That way I can alter each shape individually. This way I can give the inner glow the layer mode overlay, which gives it that warmer mix of colors and keep the highlight in a normal, just change the opacity a little bit to 80 rather than 100% to be not perfectly white. A little bit of a Transparent gradient on the inner glow makes that softer and we don't quite see the bottom shape. And that is the light bulb turned on. Now we need the glow itself. 
I duplicate the circle from the inner highlight and give it the maximum Gaussian blur. That way I can create a really nice soft fade. I place the circle below the light bulb and give it a slightly more yellowish tint and set the blend mode to overlay, that way it mixes with the colors of the background. I create two more duplicates that allow me to adjust color and intensity of the glow a little bit better. One is a mid turn that gives me color and the other one is the brightest light right around the light bulb itself. For the alternative design I duplicate the layer and work on the same shapes. I switch the fill to a stroke and adjust the width to give me an outline for the light bulb. I fade the bottom to be less visible with the transparent gradient tool. Try a little wider, that is too much. I like the thinner version better, so let's change that back. Next I dim the inner glow to be less strong than in the previous version and adjust the outer glows as well, a little less opacity on each of them and we have a more visible outline of the globe itself and I give that a tiny bit of a Gaussian blur just to show that it is illuminated and glowing. Might be nice to add a duplicate there so we have one version with the glow and one without. There we go, now it's glowing as well as having a strong line. A slightly thinner version might look better. And an adjusted transparency to start earlier and fade towards the bottom. And we have the base of the light bulb, now we need the inside. I duplicate the glowing outline, place it at the base and just give it a different transparency to fade the bottom completely. So we just get the top arc. Using the pen tool I create a line that will be the holder for the glow element. I copy the attributes from the glow, but in this case I don't need a transparency so I turn that one off. And using the node tool I curve it a little bit and then duplicate and mirror it for the other side. I reduce the glow of these elements just a little bit by reducing the Gaussian blur. Lastly, I add the glow element itself. It's a rounded rectangle, or in this case, just a rectangle with rounded corners.
Once all the duplicates are in place, I give them a Gaussian blur for that extra glow. I can now change my glow shapes, give the layers a different blend mode, adjust the colors, adjust the opacity to get just the right effect. And that was the quick way to create two different versions of the light bulb using the overlay blend mode for a warmer light along with the Gaussian blur for the glow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see on my blog, in my channel and I will see you again soon.